All right, guys, so I got the four-wheeler on the trailer. About to go get the lawnmower unstuck. Thankfully, we're right here by the house, so I don't have to drive a long ways or anything to go get it. Uh, go get it out. So what I'm going to do is the plan is I'm going to get it unstuck, run the four-wheeler back home while Pop's mowing, come back, finish up this yard, and keep on trucking today. So um, hopefully we can get it out and real quick and won't be no issue, but I'm going to tell you it's bad. We're stuck pretty bad, so uh, let's see if we can't get it out. All right, so it's definitely a Monday. Uh, start off by saying that. <laughs> this is the tire I was telling you about. This is absolutely sunk in the mud there. And uh, so, but you can see we've got the rope here. We tried to pull it out with a radius, but the radius just wouldn't do it. So, yeah, that bottom is rubbing there. So the game plan is to hook the winch up to here and just pull it back out this way towards the house. So that's the plan. Go and load the four-wheeler, see if I can do it. Yeah. All right, so we tried pulling it from that angle right there. Uh, it just didn't work, wasn't working. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but on the right side of the mower, that deck is actually digging into the bank. And so that's what we're doing. We're about to swap angles right here and try to get it from the straight on and uh, see if we can get it from straight on because that deck, the more we pulled on it, the, the further that deck dug into the bank of that dish. And so it was just getting worse and worse and harder to pull out. And so I figured we'd probably have better luck uh, trying it this way. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so you heard my four-wheeler sound like it was struggling right there. It wasn't struggling. What it was is my four-wheeler has an override button or overdrive or whatever it's called, and uh, it'll only go a certain speed in reverse, and it only allow it to go up a certain RPMs. And so uh, that's what was kicking in there. So I clicked that button, and you, you heard it yank it on through. And so, um, but nothing was working. Uh, at this point, we're kind of getting frustrated. Couldn't get it out, um, but this this crap like this it ju it's just gonna happen and uh, that's just part of it and uh so right here you see we're trying to winch it just with a winch and not with not yank it with a forward or anything and uh unfortunately this wasn't working either so uh it just just nothing was working it was just getting to the point to where we just we had to do something you can see i'm running up the yard my tires are spinning and uh this was just a <laughs> it was just a frustrating thing so uh, you'll see in this next clip what we ended up having to do. Okay, so this right here was what I was trying to avoid. Um, I did not want to put the truck and the trailer in the yard. Uh, reason behind putting the trailer in the yard with the truck was that I keep a lock on the tongue of my trailer as a pin instead of using like a, a regular pin because uh, you know, somebody can't unhook my trailer or, or nothing or mess with it or anything. And so, um, but anyway, that's why I have the truck and the trailer in the yard. I didn't want to put the truck in the yard because I didn't want to rough the yard up or get my truck stuck. And so, uh, but you can see right here, I take it real easy at first, um, with the truck and everything, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to spin tires. I didn't want to tear up the yard any worse than I had to. So you can see me easing up a little bit and, uh, I tightened the rope up and then I realized I had to give it a little bit more gas. And so I did and it eased it on out of there. So got it out uh, finally. 
I probably could have saved a trip instead of going and getting the four wheeler and just pulled it out with a truck. Um, and that's probably what a lot of people would say. But the reasoning behind that was just, like I said, I didn't want to tear up the yard and uh, ended up having to put the truck in the yard anyway. The four wheeler tore up the yard a little bit. So, you know, crap happens. That's all I can say about it. And so uh, it was definitely a Monday. That was a very frustrating ordeal to have to deal with. But like I said, it happens. So, um, but <laughs> I'm just glad we got it out and didn't have to call a tow truck or call somebody else for help or something. All right, so we got it, got it out of there. You can see the massive hole <laughs> that it was down in. We'll try to cover it up with a rake or something before we leave. But you can see right there, it started getting a little wet. And then right here is where we started pulling and then it just escalated to that. So the motor was pretty muddy. The problem was, was the deck was catching. You can see all this crap right here. Not pulling off the deck. If the deck had been higher and not catching on the uh, ground there, we could have got it out pretty easy. But the deck caught on the ground and uh, that's what was holding it. So, but we got it out, had to get the OF-150 on it. And, but I was really surprised that the four-wheeler wouldn't pull it out, um, but it wouldn't. So load the four-wheeler back up, take the house, and we're gonna keep on trucking. All right, guys, here at the shop. I want to show you the first thing I got on the truck. It's a garbage can. So <laughs> you can tell the back of my truck is filled with trash. It stays like this. And so uh bought me a trash can just to keep in here. So I'm just throw trash out of people's yards and stuff. Anybody that does lawn care should know that you gotta pick up all the trash in everybody's yard and so it's gotta go somewhere. So it's been going in the back of the truck. Now it's gonna go in here. So you see I got it strapped down here and I got the top strapped to the to itself. That way it won't blow off or nothing. So that's the one thing I got. We had a flat last week or the week before. And uh, so I had to go get the tire fixed today. So that's why the tire's there. I gotta put it back on the rack. And so I guess I've showed you all my cobalt toolbox that I bought. I bought it probably a month or two ago. I may have talk, talked about it in one video, but this is a nice box. Um, it's real messy right now. I had it all organized the other day, but I'll show you what I got in here real quick. So, basically I keep the impact wrench, some rope if we get stuck, but obviously yesterday the rope didn't do any good. Um, bar and chain oil. And then this is pretty neat. This is a uh, cobalt air compressor that you can plug into your cigarette lighter in your truck. And it will air up any tire and it's digital so you can mark it to where the psi you want on there and then you just press start and it does it for you so um that's a pretty neat little deal if you don't have one you need to get one and so uh it's a good thing to keep in your truck with you um this is our weed eater string we use uh, i keep it in here this is vortex in the very first video i did i talked talked about our weed eater string and um I had an old one and so you couldn't really tell the brand, but the brand is Vortex. And I had to get 105 this time. I don't really like getting 105. I like to get the 095, but that's just what they have. So that's what I had to get. So, and it works about the same. So anyway, keep all the edger attachments, the uh, chainsaw attachment, the um, hedge trimmer attachments keep staying here. And then this is my box of tools. Uh, just random tools to fix anything if I need it. And then measuring tape for measuring out landscape jobs and stuff. So that's what I keep in that big blue cobalt toolbox in case you're ever wondering. And uh, so far I love that box. I like it pretty good. It's got some handles on the sides there. Uh, that way you can take it in and out. So I wanted something that I could take in and out very easily. And this is not real easy to take in and out but it's not bolted to anything so it comes out pretty easy so uh two people can get it out fairly easy so that's that all right so there's the setup make sure this garage door don't fall on my head so first things first you notice i only have two weed eaters on here and not three uh reasoning behind that is 
the 91 decided it was going to mess up and so that's uh that's the issue it's something in the shaft i'm not really sure what it is uh, we've had this weed eater for i'm gonna say probably a good four or five years or so we've had it a while ran the tar out of this thing i mean we have used this thing like crazy and so about time for a new one um might try to fix this one and keep it as a backup or sell it not sure yet but we are going to get another weed eater um right now i'm stuck between the these are the fs111 rx's i'm stuck between the fs111 rx or a km 131r is what i'm stuck behind stuck between so i love my 111 rx's um but i've been doing a little research on the km 111 or km 131r uh and it has a lot of attachments that come with it that you there that you can buy with it and everything and so a lot more options they even have a shaft extender for it uh like if you got some tall hedge bushes you got to trim but i'm not sure yet i'm not sure what i'm gonna do um but i'm for sure gonna get another weed eater because i've got to have three people would say you know two's two's good whatever um but see i have two weed eater heads on here normally i have two people weeding and so i need an edger and so you can't you know i can change out the edger head on here but then i'm only down to one weed eater and so if one runs out of string you gotta run over here and get one real quick if the edger head's on it you know it slows you down do you have to take the edger head off and, and whatever so that's why i'm gonna get a third weed eater because it just speeds it up a whole lot better and I can keep the edger head on there or keep the head trimming head on there, whatever I need. And so that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about. So I'm, I'm kind of between the KM131R or the FS111RX. Let me know in the comments, which one you think. Uh, if you have any experience with either one, just let me know which one you think. Like I said, I have the 111RXs. I love them, but I'm kind of leaning towards the KM131R just because of all the options. Uh, that you can get with it and everything. So let me know what you think and um, and let me know if you've had any experience with it or anything. So, All right, so the reason I didn't post anything last week uh, was because I had finals and 35 yards and two landscape jobs last week. So, and uh, so real busy week. Uh, didn't get off to about 8, 8.30 every night. By the time I got gas and unloaded everything, it was probably nine o'clock. And so got back home and I'd have to do my finals homework and study for them and actually take finals at night too and so i didn't get done with everything until about 11 30 12 and i was worn out from work and so i didn't have time to edit and uh so that's why i didn't get anything else it's just i didn't have time to edit i did film a lot last week so y'all will see some videos coming up from last week some landscape jobs we did and uh, a few of the yards and everything so i did film that um we actually did two landscape jobs last week i think i said that but the two landscape jobs we did were actually full installs and I got them both on video. So I will show you that. Uh, they turned out really, really good. And uh, we've got a few more landscape jobs coming up. Not Nothing like we did last week, but we do have some more stuff coming up that I'll film and uh, y'all get to see that and everything. And so, but I want to just kind of take a minute and explain why I didn't post last week. I don't like to leave people hanging, leave y'all hanging and everything, but um, but yeah, that's why I didn't post. That's why I didn't get a video out. I just didn't have the, the time to edit. But, but I'll graduate college this May. And so once I graduate in May, I'll have a lot more time uh, to work and edit and get more videos out and everything. And so that's the plan. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. That's why I didn't post last week. So just felt like I needed to say that. So now we're about to go I'm load all this up in the truck and about to go mow some grass so show you the mower real quick from where it got stuck yesterday um you can see the whole rim i need to wash it the whole rim is just uh covered in mud and so pretty bad pretty bad so uh and the deck's got mud all over it i'm sure the blades are just completely dulled out because of the mud and everything but I got some new blades in the uh, toolbox and I'm going to change out uh, to this weekend probably have a fresh set for next week. So anyway, just wanted to show you that thought it was pretty, pretty bad. All right. So I was going to make a whole nother video on this, but I'll just throw it in this one real quick since I'm standing right here. 
Uh, I mentioned a while back that I was going to buy another BR800C, and that's what I did. There it is right there. All shiny, brand new. We've actually used it on a couple of jobs. I just hadn't showed it in the video yet. Um, but I do need to buy another equipment defender rack now to put right here, have them side by side. That way I can carry them with me. And I don't know if I'm going to keep them on the trailer at all times. Um, I hadn't decided yet. But I am going to go ahead and buy another rack. That way for when I do carry them, places I'll have a rack to put it on and I don't have to just throw it in the back of the truck because... These things are a little bit too expensive just to toss in the back of your truck and just, you know, not have them locked down or something. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy another rack, pop it right here, right beside this one. And uh, that way we can, if we do need to carry it to a job, we can carry them. But I'm not sure, if, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to carry them all the time with me. I might, uh, since I can, what I might do is I might lock one of them down and keep one unlocked. That way I can, you know, get to it or whatever. But um anyway that's the new br br 800c of course i've little shower showed that little blower and i think that's it i think that's all the little updates on the trailer and everything i think that's all the updates with me the fs 91 r is broke about to buy a new weeder and uh for real y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think if i should get another uh fs 111 rx or if i should go with the km 131 r i don't really know um, I've asked some people about it. They said it's kind of just a, a preference deal. They said the KM131R has a lot of options. And uh, that's kind of what I was thinking too. So I don't know, y'all just let me know. Um, I'll probably make a move this week or next. Um, but y'all just let me know in the comments and that might help me decide a little bit better. So, but anyway, that's the updates. I'm real excited about that blower. I love these things. All right, guys, so now y'all kind of know more updates. Y'all know why I didn't post last week. Y'all know the uh, updates to the setup and everything. So y'all are all up to, up to date. So now we're about to roll out, go cut some grass. Uh, I am going to film today, but it won't be in this video. So I'll uh, catch y'all later and uh, hope y'all have a good week. One more thing before I let y'all go. Just thought about this. I'm thinking about putting some Longhorns on the front of the F-150, right there on the hood. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Some people might think that's stupid. Some people might think it's pretty awesome, but I think it's pretty awesome. And so, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I will. I'll, if some people might not know what that is, so I'm gonna. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen. That way, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm thinking about putting them right there on the hood, or getting a bull bar, putting it on there, or a brush guard, or something. But um, I'm thinking about putting it right there right now and so uh or I may put them on the gmc but i just thought it looked pretty cool on the ford y'all let me know what you think uh i know it's pretty stupid pretty funny but uh i'm being dead serious so let me know what you think and uh i'll see y'all later